Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for January 18th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. This pair closed down, did create an inside bar. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 77.11, possibly as low as 76.39. Look for some resistance around 77.05 and look for some support around 76.50. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair surged to the upside. Uh, as you can see, closed higher. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 129.99, possibly as low as 126.44. Look for some resistance around 128.75 and look for some support around 12700. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair moved to the upside, closed higher. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 155.54 possibly down to 152.49. Look for some resistance around 154.50 and look for some support around 153.00. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair surged to the downside, uh, overall moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go uh, as high on a reversal up to 0.9665, possibly down to 0.9281. Look for some resistance around 0.9450 and look for some support around 0, 0.9375. Now as far as news analysis go, we have at 4 a.m. Eastern the European Central Bank publishing their January monthly report. At 8.30 a.m. Eastern time we have the U.S. releasing their consumer price index for December. Uh, consensus on that is that it has dropped from 3.4 percent down to 3.1 percent. Uh, at the same time uh, 8.30 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, the U.S. is also releasing their consumer price index, excluding food and energy, for December. It's showing a hold at 2.2%. Okay, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, let's zoom out a little bit and take a look at uh, the euro. You can see here that uh, we've had a fairly strong move to the upside, but you can also see that we're getting real close to this long-term trend line. Um, so I'm looking for it actually uh, potentially to go up to this point around the 129.18 mark and then reverse. So look for the reversal to occur uh, on this particular pair. Now, <coughs> excuse me, a little more granular if you go to the U.S. Japanese yen pair, it did create an inside bar over this last session. Uh, I don't think we're going to see it drop below the uh, 76.54 mark. However, we may see it move higher, although uh, currently it has moved lower by about 9 pips. Looking for a move to the upside uh, from the open of about 5 pips and then being able to take about 10 pips. It would be a quick little scalp which would put it right here um, at the 76.97 mark. So basically just grabbing 10 pips off of this uh, move uh, if it moves to the upside. You can see we've gone through it a couple of times. I, I do believe that if we break the 76.87 mark, it will go up to 76.97. Well, I hope that helps. And until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.